Welcome back everyone. Hope you're doing well today. Seems like every video that I start these days begins with, we've got a new series. And what do you know? We have a new series today. This one's going to be, again, very different than what we've done before. It's something that uh, people have been requesting. Shout out to Kaoxide. This is the series that he's been waiting for for a while. And what we've got going on today is a basically a relaxation tape. So after I uh, upgraded my mic recently, I've been getting a lot of compliments from a lot of people on my voice. And I'm not much of a hype master, so I think it's better to just lean into the relaxation and see what we can do with it. And we're basically going to play uh, regular online games. We're going to play ranked seasons, we're going to play events, we're going to play BR, all the different online modes that you can play in Diamond Dynasty. And we're not going to rage. We're going to go in there, we're going to have a good time, it's going to be relaxing. We're going to put some relaxing background sounds in there too, so like ocean sounds, uh, like a, a nice little forest, things like that throughout the series. Well, it'll be a different sound either within one video or over a few different videos. And I think this is one of the best ways to uh, kind of lean into my strengths while also kind of doing something different on YouTube. So if this is something that you guys like, depending on how well the video does, I will try to increase the amount that we do these kind of videos. So for today, we're going to jump into rank seasons. And we're going to see what we can do. We're, at, we're sitting at 900, so we may get a game on Legend. We may play a Goon. So we're going to see how well we can keep composure today. And let's see how relaxing it is for you guys. All right, let's get into it. And we're playing in a Major League Park. Fantastic. Fantastic. This guy is probably playing on Hall of Fame. This does not look like a game on Legend. It's what you love to see when you start a game. Fenway Park, Rank Seasons. Beautiful, beautiful. And we're going to play this one out, I think. Nope. He's going to go for a friendly quit. Fantastic. That's what we like to see. You play in a major league park. You get the friendly quit. Ideal. Now we get to stay relaxed. We get to play another game here. We're going to go back into the matchmaker. We're going to see what they can give us. Please give me a minor league park. Thanks. That game took me about five minutes to find. So we're back here with attempt number two. We've got Scherzer on the bump. Garrett Cole. We are the home team. He also has a 95 Jimmy Fox on this team. Let's take a look at this record right here. Are we playing someone on Legend? It doesn't look like it. I believe this game is going to be on Hall of Fame. And we are not getting a friendly quit offer, so let's play this one, boys. Beautiful start to the game. Pop up to right field for Mike Trout. That's all you can ask for. Scherzer was one of my favorite live series cards to pitch with this year. I don't know how well I'm going to do with this finest card. A lot of better hitters in the game as well. I've only started this Scherzer card a few times, and I feel like every time it was against a goon. Miguel Cabrera batting third. I didn't realize Yelich had such a good stealing rating. Takes the fastball down the middle. Strike out on the curveball. You like to see it. You like to see it. Bregman's hitting pretty well for this guy. I believe he's going to try to steal in this at bat. He does not attempt to steal. Very nice little take right there. I appreciate that kind of take. Tries to check it up. We dot him on the outside corner. That's a pitch right there. Leading off for us, we have Honest Wagner. Garrett Cole is on the mound. I'm using my team that's supposed to be good for Legend. A very high contact team. High vision team as well. Except for Mike Trout. I love Mike Trout so much. He's the one guy with a pretty small PCI that is going to continue to play for me on Legend. But again, this game is on a Hall of Fame. And thankfully, we do keep that ball fair. Left fielder has a terrible animation. I don't know what's going on there. We are going to take second base. Willie Mays has made his official return into the lineup after a pretty successful ESL for him. Ken Griffey Jr. is taking a back seat for the moment. We only have one lefty in this lineup, but that's okay. I would rather have a bunch of righties in the lineup. Cody Bellinger with a nice swing here to deep right field. Not going to be a home run. Yelich does make the catch, so we are out of the inning, but we do put up one run. Jason Jihambi into the left center gap. We did hang a fastball right there. Very interesting lineup for this guy. Front door slider, we accidentally dot the ball in the inside corner. I will take that any day of the week. Seems like Scherzer, when he misses his pitch, ends up being a good pitch anyway. Payoff pitch. Right up the middle, that's exactly how we swung it. 
with Pujols. He is going to stay at third base. Smart move there with only 32 speed. I only have Trout's arm in center field, which is not amazing. He may have been able to make it, but no point in risking it. Pop up to the middle infielder. Hannes Wagner makes the catch. I saw Hannes miss that ball on a play when I was watching a stream the other day. I was very nervous as the ball went up there. Pop up from Gary Cole, who does have a very nice swing. Gary Cole can get some hits, but he does pop out there to center, and I will take that. Okay, we're getting a little antsy in this game. We're going to take a deep breath. Take a deep breath with me right here. There we go, Mike Trout. To deep right center field. It is not going to get caught. Scherzer can hit a little as well. Scherzer and Cole have a couple of the best swings for pitchers. For guys that don't have the biggest hitting stats. Lead off walk on four pitches to Mike Trout with a bunch of speed. Very good base runner. It's not what you want to do there to start the inning. Yelich had a hit on a curveball last time up. We might pick him off here. Huge out to start the inning. Now an 0-2 count to Yelich. Hard hit to center field. That's an out. We'll take that. Another high fastball over the middle of the plate. We've been doing that a little too much this game. Hard hit from Hornsby. It is going to drop in front of Mike Trout. Nice hit right there for Hornsby. Does not end up lining out. And Willie Mays with a chance with a runner on first. Make that a runner on second. It's going to go straight to the backstop. Looked like a slider there from Garrett Cole. Off the end of the bat there for Willie Mays. It did look like it jumped pretty good. But. Going to be a shallow fly out to left. Pujols with another nice swing. It's going to be a foul ball home run. Right size, wrong shape you could say. Working the count back to full. We got Bellinger on deck. I think he comes at me here. Another hard hit ball for Pujols. High and deep to center. Unfortunately not going to go yard. We do strand the runner. But we do still have the lead. Another gapper for Jason Giambi. Almost the identical spot, a little bit lower this time on a line, but right to the same part of the ballpark. This is the 95 Jimmy Fox. It is not the 99. And we get him to pop out to center field. Very nice swing there from Lindor. He opens up on a fastball. I've been getting him on pitches on the inside part of the plate for the most part this game. Finally turns on it. He was looking for it. And it is a one-to-one -one ball game. Bregman does not have big speed. He may not run this out. A lot of guys would have, but he did not. We are not going to cheese off of second base like a lot of people like to do. We're going to play this fair and square. This ball is going to drop as well. So we're going to have runners on the corners with only one out here. I've been using JT Real Muto. I thought this game might be on Legend, so I put Pudge back in for the bigger PCI. He might have thrown me a two-seamer there. Not a pitch you see too often. Yep. Two-seam fastball. Pretty good movement from Cole. And Pudge likes that ball low. He likes it, but not quite enough. Looks like Miguel Cabrera in left field. We do get the sack fly. I was just so confused about Mac Miguel Cabrera playing left field. And Max Scherzer, if I was on the other side of this, I would be raging hard. You know that I do. Max Scherzer with a base hit to the right side. Late week PCI, nowhere near it. That's how you play baseball, friends. And of course it sets up an RBI single for Wagner. Trout scores from second. Miguel Cabrera almost just slow enough to let that bloop down for a hit. But we do put up a couple more runs. And it looks like he's thinking about taking out Garrett Cole early. 
So Garrett Cole goes four innings. Ichiro Suzuki is in. This is the 99 overall card. He's batting 233 with him, which kind of looks like my batting average with Ichiro. Probably actually better. Because for some reason, I'm the one person in the game that cannot hit with this card. And apparently my opponent is as well. We have thrown a good amount of pitches here with Max Scherzer. A few good strikeouts, a couple of walks for this batter, and he's been going deep into a lot of counts. So not even through the fifth, and we're already at 70. I can't imagine Scherzer going more than six, maybe seven. Yelich reaches for ball four, pops it up to left field. We get a little bit lucky there. A lot of Scherzer's pitches move in towards the batter. So when you do get a pitch like that, a high and away fastball, you do end up having to protect. Another card you don't see too often in ranked seasons. Kenta Maeda is into pitch, and it's possible that I have not seen this card before. He decides not to burn his long reliever. Maeda does have good stamina. But this is my one and only lefty in the lineup, and he does end up paying for it. Another laser from Bregman here off of the little corner there in left field. This guy has had some pretty solid at-bats, not going to lie. He's earned his strikes, but at the end of every at-bat, he's getting a lot of weak contact. So we're still fooling him just enough. I was about to say, Giambi is one of those guys that scares me in the lineup. Already a couple of good swings. He does hit this ball hard, but it was a cutter. I think he was looking for a four-seam fastball there and hits into a double play. On the other hand, we have not been taking good at-bats. A lot of first pitch swings and misses here. Scherzer will stay in the game for me. Although he's getting up there in pitch count, he had a relatively quick sixth inning. And I just cannot hit the slider. I don't know what is going on. Kenta Maeda have, may have a really good slider here. I think I should probably be looking for a slider now. Hard hit from Alomar there. Line drive to right center. We absolutely threw that ball directly down the middle of the plate. So with two outs now, he is going to bring in one of my favorite hitters, Duke Snyder, with a chance to get a run on the board. And he absolutely lasers that ball to center field for the line out. We need to do a better job of driving runners in. Looks like he likes the fastball with Hendricks so far. He was spamming quite a few sliders with Kenta Maeda. Maybe a different look for Liam Hendricks. Hard hit from Pujols high and deep to center field. Goodbye, baseball. Bellinger homered his last time up. He gets a high and away slider right here. We're going to run on Mike Trout's arm. We do make it there safely. Good decision with two outs, runner on second base. Scherzer's still in the game. He's going to get probably two base runners. I think that's the most I can give him right now. But his energy is still in the green. But we will continue to ride him until he gives out. Not what you like to see right there. One more base runner for Scherzer and it will be over for him. But if he could get a double play ball, that would be very nice. This guy continues to have pretty good at bats in this game. He just needs to follow it up with some good swings. He does take a walk that does constitute a base runner, and Kenley Jansen will come in. Kenley Jansen, I feel like, is not a great closer anymore. He's a fantastic relief pitcher, and often the first man out of the bullpen for me in a close game. But it feels to me like in the ninth inning, he always gives up a bloop hit to start the inning, leading to a big comeback for the opposition. And... Oftentimes, it throws him off if you use him in this kind of situation. Can we speed him up with a four-seam fastball? Barely gets to that ball. Hard hit up the middle for Bregman. Good speed coming around. We are going to test him. And he is going to score. That was a trout throw against trout speed. Trout does end up winning that battle. He's been going with the pitch here. He likes to hit that sinker. He's going to be out at home. He did go back to third. I have Willie Mays in left field. Smart move to go back to third. Bases loaded. One out. 
And now we're in a bit of a tough situation. Tying run is already on base. Home run here actually gives him the lead. Softly hit for Jimmy Fox. Double play ends the inning. That is, that is immense. That is quite large. Two runs on 10 hits from him. He also has a good few walks. Kirby Yates comes into the game. This should be our last at bat. Let's get some insurance runs. We may get on base here. Bare hand play from, it looks like, Arenado coming in. Does not make the play. Wow, a laser up the middle. I have not seen a play like that go past the shortstop that close to his glove before. And with men on, we are going to go with Ted Williams off the bench. If he does go to a matchup move, since it is so late in the game, I will go to a right-handed hitter. High and deep for Wagner right here. It's carrying a little bit. It is going to be caught in center field by Trout. And we will take third base. Another good pitch from him. He has not missed too many pitches over the middle of the plate, I will say, in this game. We may have left third base a little early. We did not. We are going to score here. Pudge with an extra insurance run. Let's see if he takes a hack at this ball. He does. It's low and in off the plate. Takes a big swing. Ground out to second base. One down in the top of the ninth. He is swinging away in this inning. And we get another backdoor slurve. An accidental dot right there. And it is going to be two down top of the ninth. 2-2 two -two count with two outs. And this ball game is not over just yet. This needs to get off the plate. Otherwise, it's a home run. Close. Very close. Looks like he did double switch. Arenado is hitting in the nine hole. Tried to get that front door slurve once again. Didn't make it work out. Pretty good coverage right there. We are going to throw a sinker inside. And he is going to laser it for a home run. Couldn't get the clean inning in the top of the ninth. Let's see if we can get Trout. That did end up going right over the middle of the plate. Another home run for Trout. That's it for Goose. I have not used Goose most of the year. He was in my bullpen early. I put him in recently. And I'm just I'm struggling to find a closer. Kenley's not doing it for me. Hoffman is not an option. The new Rob Nen, the 95, I thought would be the guy. But he as well is not quite who I was looking for. Payoff pitch to Yelich. Swing and a miss on the two-seam fastball. The ball game is finally over. He did hit a couple of home runs in this inning, but Cody Bellinger is your player of the game. We do take a win. Let's find out how many points we get out of this one. So for this game, he was rated at 846. We do get 12 points. Puts us up to 912. We are not guaranteed a game on Legend. Max Scherzer drops his ERA to 562. We say goodnight to the opponent as I say goodnight to you. Hopefully you had a relaxing time and let me know what you think of this kind of video. If it helps you fall asleep or stay relaxed at work, let me know. Tell me your thoughts and have a good night.